Welcome everybody to the fifth video in the Inventive Tutorial series. My name is Mr. Galindo. Today we're going to be looking at navigation control. Now, when using a 3D software package such as Inventor, you're going to have to be able to navigate your view around a 3D object. In the real world, we'd stand up and move. On the computer, we have to use tools, buttons, and functions to be able to do so. So, for example, I can see this view here of my part file. And you'll notice in the top right corner, we've got a very large icon. This is an object called the view cube. Now the view cube allows us, if we click on it, to rotate and move in three dimensions our object. It also has buttons on the view cube, which allow us to click and automatically move to those views. And these are called orientations, right orientation, back orientation, and so forth. The home icon always brings you back to the selected home view. Let's take, for example, the fact that the front view is this orientation, but I want it to be changed around to this orientation, the back view. I can do this by reorientating the view cube. I right click on the, the view cube, I select set current view as front. This is now the front of the view cube. Commonly, your isometric view or your home view is the top left corner of your front view. So I select the top left corner. You can also select the vertex here. This is going to be my home view. I right click, set current view as home, fit to view. So if I ever want to make sure that this whole view is viewed um, from this angle and zoomed in as close as possible, click the home button right there. The other way to move around and navigate um, the objects we're creating is using your function keys. If you look down on your keyboard, you should see function keys 1 through to 12. If you select function key 2, we can pan our view. Using the left mouse button and holding down function key 2, I can just pan my model around very simply. If I hold down F3, we can zoom in. If I left click and drag my mouse up and down, it now zooms in and out. F4 is the free orbit tool. Now if I move my mouse to one of the planes, for example the horizontal line here, I can rotate my object horizontally. I can do the same thing vertically. If I go to the vertical line, I can also rotate it around a center point. If I go just outside the circle, and then if I'm in the middle I can do a 3D rotation, a free orbit again. Now F5 function key is the previous view, so I can press this a few times and it cycles through every time I stop moving the orientation. And F6 is moving back to home view, as I just did. You'll notice on the right hand side here, next to the view cube, which I've expanded so it's big enough for you to see, it's normally smaller, um, is the navigation bar. On this bar we have the pan tool, the free orbit tool, the zoom tool, and we can use these buttons as well to do the same thing to better orientate ourselves in the 3D workspace. And there you go. That's an introduction to navigation control. Thank you for listening.